Hello, welcome to the Tutoring Center Bio 181 videos for DNA code. Uh, this is about the beetle, ex beetle and tatum experiment. Um, beetle and tatum uh, around in the 60s, I think, and they uh, came up with a method, an experiment to kind of prove the central dogma of DNA that DNA is transcribed to RNA and then translated to a protein. And what they did was they mapped out biosynthetic pathways um, and as a generalization, what that means is we take a precursor mo molecule and it gets changed to, I'm just going to say, substrate one through the works of, or through the efforts of enzyme, whoops, enzyme A. And that's changed to substrate two to substrate three, which is the needed molecule perhaps an enzyme B and an enzyme C do those steps so one molecule is taken in by the organism and then a certain pathway of enzymes through different steps change the precursor into the needed molecule and what Beal and Tatum did was they maybe mutated the gene that coded for enzyme A, cutting that out of the system, which prevented the precursor being changed to the substrate. And what you might see often, uh, I know you have an e exercise you do with um, some animations and they've got some test tubes with um, some nutrient media contained within and we're just going to say that this is the normal nutrient meter it's got everything it needs and so the bacteria population grows this is a bac bacterial growth and they did it for several different ways mutating different enzymes and so forth and for, for our example here this is what it would look like we'd have the nutrient media and the, the precursor precursor would be in here um, but if only the precursor was present but enzyme A was mutated then there would be no way for, for the bacteria to change the precursor molecule which is contained in the nutrient meter into substrate 1. We couldn't do this first step therefore there was uh, be no, no growth whatsoever. And they did this uh, with several different um, bacteria strains, mainly E. coli, and uh, testing if the things, the, the needed molecules, the different vitamins usually. Um, and their experiment basically, as I said, it proved the fact that the central dogma of DNA is that DNA to RNA to protein. That if you mutate the DNA, the protein therefore does not function at all. What you have to do regarding this experiment is um, kind of deal with this table and it's uh, it's part of your homework and what I've done is made something that's similar to your homework but not identical and I'm going to explain kind of what you need to do to understand the experiment and also to understand your, your homework, what it's asking you to do. So you'll see something like this in your homework and you'll have, there are different mutants, different enzymes that have been mutated and then the different molecules in the biosynthetic pathway. You'll notice all these positive and negatives and honestly when I first saw this I had no idea what was going on but it's fairly simple. If there is a negative symbol present that means if you remove that molecule or if you mutate uh, the corresponding enzyme then this step on the, the precursor to the next step will not occur let's pick mutant 5 there's a negative here meaning that mutant 5 if you remove mutant 5 then this step from substrate 2 to substrate 3 will not occur 
And so what this shows us is if we take the precursor to begin with, this is the biosynthetic pathway that um, this box is referring to. We take the precursor molecule, gets changed to substrate one, then to two, then to three, four, and then the, the needed substrate. And precursor one, two, three, four, needed substrate. You, what you will see won't be as simple as this. It's jumbled up, so you just kind of have to figure it out. And if you kind of follow this pattern, you should be fine. But a precursor molecule is changed in these different steps to the needed substrate for the bacteria to grow. And then these are the different enzymes. So mutant number four. So enzyme number four is necessary for this first step to occur. Then mutant number two. And mutant number five, or enzyme number five, enzyme number three, and enzyme number one. So this kind of corresponds to each individual step. So this is basically all you have to do is figure out from the table you'll be given in your homework what the pathway is and the molecules from from beginning to end, the different steps in between, and the corresponding enzymes that complete those steps. And there's an exercise exercise you can do. Um, it's part of your reading that just shows it's an animation that shows the different um, experiments and things that Beadle and Tatum did. So I'd encourage you to go and uh, work through that as well. But just remember that. Ultimately, there is uh, an enzyme that's coded by a gene, and that enzyme, if it's if the gene is mutated, the enzyme doesn't function, and then we get a break in the biosynthetic pathway. And if this molecule, if this is something that's essential for the organism to survive, and you mutate the necessary enzyme so that the a certain step doesn't work and then in the in the media in the nutrient media of your test tube or petri dish or whatever if these molecules no i guess it if all of these are not present if these aren't present but the precursor is like it is here if the precursor is present then because enzyme one is mutated or enzyme a is mutated there will be no growth whatsoever. So I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.